understand how we get into so many problems and do the things we do in America that are just so awful. I, I, I mean, I want to feel like I'm not judgmental and I'm very egalitarian and all that, but I have to say, I just think a lot of people are just kind of dumb, <laughs> you know? And that's why this, that's half the reason why a lot of this terrible shit happens that we do. And then the other half, the, you know, and then there's this tiny percentage that are really smart and they're conniving and evil. And then there's all these other people that are kind of just trying to navigate it and be as honorable as they can. Anyway, uh, so this ended up in, like tower record displays in the front window, you know, of people who hadn't even checked out what it was. And we put all the foul language, all the fucks and the shits and the word obscenities were on the side, on the B side, which we called it Special Edit Radio Mix. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's for DJs out there. That was, that was to mess with you. And apparently that worked too, you know. You get at the station and say, oh well, oh, that's the track you play on the radio, put it on. <laughs> so it, it just has so many different elements to it that were just so exciting. And we really thought, if we get in trouble, we thought the worst we might get would be a phone call, a slap on the wrist, you know. We just thought we're way too tiny and small and under the radar for any of these people to really care. Um, but we were wrong about that. <laughs> Ten days after this record came out, Negative Land was served with a 200-page lawsuit, as was SSD Records, the label we were on. We were sued for... Tra uh, copyright infringement for using bits of their music, trademark infringement for using the letter U and the numeral 2 on the cover. We were sued for um, failure to, uh, uh, to uh, get a license to do a cover version of the song. You can do cover versions without permission, but if you change the lyrics, you have to get permission. So we messed that one up. Uh, defamation of character for associating this foul language with the clean cut image of the band U2. <laughs> and finally, fraud. They said it was a get rich quick scheme meant to dupe millions of innocent U2 fans into buying this record to get money in our pockets. So they threw everything they could at us. They hired Madonna's lawyer, uh, was who sued us. Uh, um, and it turned into a rather gigantic part of our life for the next four years. Um, but before I go into a little more about that, what I want to actually do is actually show you a film we made to go with the B-side of this single. And this is the one thing I'm showing you tonight that truly is a piece of illegal art. I, I am not allowed to talk about it, to show it, to exhibit it, to play it. Um, so don't tell anybody over here. Um, 